YouTube, welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Make Life Happen, and I hope you guys are having a super blessed day because life is so good. So today I want to talk about keeping the Sabbath, keeping the Sabbath. So in the book of Genesis, we are told that on the seventh day, that is the day that we rest, that is part of God's creative process. So everything that is seen right now came from the unseen. So your, uh, your subjective desires become objective by keeping the Sabbath. So the things that you desire in your mind become an actual actuality, an actual object. You can see it in your screen of space. So um, what you do is you, you put a desire in your mind. You construct the scene just the way that you want it. And then you keep the Sabbath. You rest and you do not do any work. This is all a mental process, it's not a physical one. Are you keeping the Sabbath or are you actually breaking it? So millions of people will go to church Sunday to keep the Sabbath, but they're not keeping the Sabbath. If you go to church for an hour or two and then you leave church and you go have some drinks and then maybe go watch a game, that's not keeping the Sabbath. You dedicating an hour to the Spirit of God is not keeping the Sabbath. Um, Christianity and your relationship with God is a way of life. This is something that you do from when you wake up till you go to sleep. So keeping the Sabbath is a mental state of being. It is a, it is a mental state of mind. It is not a physical act by going to a ceremony or going to some church service. Imagination creates all reality. So you simply construct a scene. You imagine a scene that implies your wish fulfilled and then you rest. So that is keeping the Sabbath. So you rest mentally and then you release all attachments. You let it go. Um, all things are possible to the God within you. And then your human imagination is your God power within you. And if you understand the Bible is very practical, but it is allegorical. It is written in the form of parables, uh, parables and the Bible is entirely symbolic. It's not about real people and it's not talking about real events. Once you understand this, you will grasp the concept that everything in this universe um, is a part of you and everyone is you externalized because you are the creator of this world. Whenever you have a desire in life, you're going to create it the same way that the God within you created the entire universe. So, Ask yourself, what is it that you want in this life? What is it that you want? Is it health, um, love, freedom, wealth? Is it perfect self-expression? Ask yourself, you can have all those things. So you're going to construct a scene that implies that you are the man or the woman that you want to be. And then you persist in that assumption and then you claim, you have to accept its reality, okay? So, um, don't worry about it if you never had it before. You deserve all of those things. Trust me, it is your divine right to have all those things. So you create a mental scene and then you keep the Sabbath because it's part of the process. So the process is not complete until you keep the, um, until you keep the Sabbath. So make sure that you keep the Sabbath and then the process will be fully complete and you will manifest all of your desires. Believe in yourself. This is the key. You have to believe in yourself. You are way more than you think. You are way more than you think. Your life didn't begin inside of a woman, and it doesn't end when your flesh gets buried at the grave. Time and death do not exist. They are just an illusion. You're always going to be a part of God, and your awareness can't be destroyed. Your awareness of being can't be destroyed. Energy can't be greater destroyed. So you are way more than you think. You create your own reality. Whenever you say, I am, and whatever you add after that, it is you asking the Spirit of God to express that within you. So this is why it's important to deliberately imagine and create the things that you do desire. You can have anything, but you have to keep the Sabbath. So if your mind and your attention is consumed by the things that you don't want, then you're not keeping the Sabbath. And this is also a lack of confidence within yourself. So you need to trust yourself and know that it is done and, and understand that this is God's promise to you. So once you understand that, your imaginal scene, everything that you mentally 
put your attention to and you add images with feelings, that is God's promise to you. So if you're not, <clears throat> if you're not mentally persistent in the assumption of the person that you want to be, then you have issues with your confidence. So because your confidence in God is determined by the confidence in yourself. This is your life. So I want you to dream big and make some massive goals. Go so big that people think you're crazy. Take your life to the next level. So construct a scene that implies that you have what you want. Construct a scene that implies that you are the person that you want to be. It's all you have to do. So you believe in yourself and you experiment with this process until you understand what it means to keep the Sabbath. Doesn't matter if you don't know a certain person. Doesn't matter if you don't have a car. It doesn't matter if you don't have any money. Remember, everything seen came from the unseen and that unseen creator is within you. And that creator is your own wonderful human imagination. If you can just believe in yourself and you remove your attention and your awareness from, the, from all the unwanted things in this world, then you, you're gonna have great success. So if imagination creates all reality, then what are you doing breaking the Sabbath? Your confidence in God is determined by the confidence in yourself. So do you believe that imagination creates reality? So whenever you imagine and construct the scene of what you want, are you dropping it and then keeping the Sabbath? Remember, this is part of the process and it is not complete until you keep the Sabbath. So once you imagine exactly what you want, you're not going to go back and worry about it. Don't let your emotions overpower your intelligence. So you have to go through the, through the creative process of imagining and then letting it go. You're going to drop it. So you're going to relax and then you're going to allow the universe to create all this in perfect harmony. It's not our job to worry about the creative process, but it is fundamental that we go through the seventh day where we rest. So Sabbath day or keeping the Sabbath is fixing a mental state of the things that you do desire. So you're going to create a mental scene that implies what you want. You're going to rest and then you're going to allow the universe to bring you everything that you desire. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. The Bible is all about you. The Bible is all about you. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.